back to another video i hope everyone's had a great week so far and from the title i am sure that you can guess that in this week's video we'll be talking about how we can create our very own python scraper which can track amazon prices and obviously you know as black friday is coming up there is a possibility of a lot of prices to be going on discounts and for us to be finding a lot of deals so if you guys want to find some deals with me on amazon then do follow along um and let's build this scraper together um before i start a huge shout out to dave ed he's an excellent youtuber he makes amazing videos and um he was one of my inspirations because of which i thought you know let's create a black friday python scraper so before i get started with this week's video if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can be notified of my videos in the new future i will be posting out a lot a ton of new content in the coming weeks so make sure that you're subscribed and without further ado let's get started with today's video what we need to do is um, open up your IDEs. You guys know how much I love Google Colab. Just makes my life so much more easier. We need to install requests underscore HTML. So let's install that. So this is going to ins install our beautiful soup, our requests. These are the two uh, libraries that we need to import when we're making our Python scraper. So let's import request. And then from bs4 let's import beautiful soup let's run this as well great so for the purpose of this video i will be using amazon um i have been actually looking for a new microphone setup and i came across this uh, which i really liked but now what i want is i'm waiting for the price to go below 79 pounds and as soon as it goes below 79 pounds i'll be buying this microphone for my setup so we'll be creating a scraper just for that which is going to track the specific price and it's going to alert us by sending us an email once the price goes below 79 pounds and 99 pence so what we need to do first let's grab the url for this and create a variable called url let's run this let's turn to the variable called headers and over here let's define our user agent if you guys want to know what a user agent is just go on google and type my user agent and this should be your user agent and for those who want to know what a user agent is this is what a user agent is so let us also paste our user agent here let's run that great now what we need to do is we need to create a variable called page from here we're going to be requesting um uh url so request dot get we're going to be passing url and we'll be passing headers as headers let's run that hopefully there should be no error great now once we have done that let us create a variable called soup let us define soup and let's do page.content and from here let's also call html.parser because we're going to pass the content on that page let's run that as well great now once we have done that let us also print soup so you can see what all information has been stored in soup we can also use something on our spritify which is just going to make the entire print function look even more better so let's print that and give us a few seconds so as you can see here it has actually passed the entire website um, for that specific page as you can see this is a ton of code but uh, we'll be scraping just the information that we'll need from here so let's just close that and the first thing we need is the title so we can do soup dot find and we can let's find this by id and the way you can get id for your title is by going here you can either click f12 and open your inspect or you can just click the title right click and then inspect and once your inspect opens up here is the id for the product uh, title so just click on that copy this come back to your scraper and type and just paste it here 
now from here we just need to get the text and let's run that great now let us also print title to see what we have got back as you can see the title has already come back but then there is a lot of white spaces here so we just strip that out so to do that let's just do dot strip so this is going to clear out all the white spaces over here great now once we have done that what we need to do is also we need to retrieve the price so we can do soup dot find and again we will be finding this through id as you already have your inspect open click on this arrow and come down here click on price and you're going to find the id for the specific price just double click on that copy come back to your scraper and just paste it here and obviously over here also we'll be using the dot get text function let me also show you what happens if we don't use this function if we don't use a dot text uh, command what happens is that once we once we print our price it's going to show you the entire span which we don't want so that's the reason why we just do dot text which is just going to retrieve the text from there great now once we have got this price what we need to do is we need to get rid of the pound sign so let us also create another variable called converted price and let's set price and let's take the one let's take the first index one two three four five let's take from index one to index five let's run that and let's do print converted price great now it only gives us 79.9 but we need 99 so let's do from index 1 to index 6 great and let us also wrap this around a float because it's testing places great so now it's a float great so we have got our price now let's also do one thing let us put all of this inside let's wrap everything inside a function actually just to make it look a little more better around a function we can just do def um, check price and let's wrap everything around the function great now once we've done that let's create an if statement so if converted price is below um i think it was what 79.99 great so let's do if the converted price falls below 79 pounds then you send an email great now let's run that so that function is done now what we need to do is basically create a function to send the email out as soon as this condition is met before that let us also create import another library known as smt plib so let us create a function which is called send email now before we create the send function let us also create some credentials for our login details now there are basically many ways to um, generate passwords for for your email addresses so the one that i like to use is you no know, it's called app password google so for this you need to set up your two-step uh, factor authentication and once you do that just come here type app password googles and i think it's the third link just click on that and great so once you have signed in i already had one create this afternoon because i was testing out if this program works or not uh just do select app this is going to be mail and you know we're using it for mac and let's just click on generate now this is going to generate a password for you so we've got that sorted now let's get back to our scraper great now the first thing that you do is create a server so we can just do server is equal to smt flip dot smt and we need to initialize um our host which is going to be gmail and we're going to be using 587 as our port once we do that we also need to do server dot hello so for those of you who don't know what hello means let me just pull it up 
here is what hello means pause the video and if you guys want to give this a read give this a read um once we do that once we do that we also need to do server dot start tls and then we need to do again server dot hello great so obviously i don't memorize all these codes uh, i can just google them whenever i want to um so just take help of google and um this code is easily available great so once we do server dot hello also now log in so we can do server dot login which is going to let us log into our server so the first thing is going to be my email address and the second thing is going to be my password now this is the password that we generated so this is the password that we can use let's come back here paste the password great that's done now we need to create a subject line so our subject is going to be price dropped for podcast microphone great once we do that let us also create a body now in our body we can just do check amazon link and we can just paste this url that we had here well, let us put this here now once we have a body ready now let's also define a message so this is again i've taken it from google um, this code is easily available on google so you can just copy and paste it here once we do that we need to server dot send email and the first um, attribute is going to be from so we're going to be sending it from my email address so 118 gmail.com and then we're going to be sending it to uh, let me just send it to my business account and then we're going to be just passing on the message once we have done that we can also do a print function which says um, hey email has been sent and once we do that let's also quit our server i know this send email part is a little confusing but trust me um, all these codes are just available on google so if you just google them you find this code if you don't want to google them then these codes are right here and um, just copy them here it's great so we have run this we have run this now what we need to do is we need to call the function it says check prices and we need to run this now we're just going to test whether or not um, this is going to um, send an email out or not so once we run the check price function it is just giving us this oh that's because we are printing these two statements that's fine um you can just cross them out we don't need them anymore now i've just changed it to you know if the converted price is greater than 79 so that um, i can test if this function is working properly or not so let's run this function again let's run the send email function again and let us run this again now hopefully this should output a print statement right i think this is just a spelling spelling error i've spelled this wrong so send mail great now hopefully if i run this function it should give me a print statement which says hey email has been sent fingers crossed great so now it has sent me a print function which says hey email has been sent now let's go here and here it is i've got an email which says price drop for podcast microphone and this is a link now another thing we can do is we can make this entire process more robust now the way we can do this is by running a while loop so let us import time and over here let's run a while loop so while true let us um, check prices then we can do time dot sleep and this is going to be in seconds so for now just let's put it 60 seconds so just so you know that um, it is going to 
uh, run the entire function every single minute so what this while loop is going to do is basically run this entire function it's going to see if this if statements being met if the if statements being met it's going to send out an email every single minute um, now this while loop is going to run for a minute uh, however every minute is not feasible what you would want to do is probably check this you know every day so great so we know that one day is one day has 86,400 seconds and let's just put it here so now what this while loop is going to do is go, it's going to run every single day and it's going to check if the price has uh, gone below $79 or not so go ahead and play around with this um, python scraper and uh, go ahead and find some great deals for yourself and um, what i'll do is i'll also put this on my github so if anybody wants to just clone this um, code they can do that and you can make minor changes to it and you can um, obviously uh, track your own prices if you guys want if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a like and also do subscribe to the channel i will be pushing out a ton of new content like this i like to work on projects like this um, i feel these are very exciting projects um, so go ahead play around with it and um, i hope this video was a value add for everyone i hope everybody enjoyed this video and if you guys have stayed till the end um, do share this with your friends and make sure that they also get a ton of savings on the products that they want and um, i will see you guys in my next video till then keep learning and keep sharing bye bye